Okay guys, so I just chugged the V8 and you probably don't care, but I got my serving vegetables for today. So now we're gonna show you how to put images on the YVD so you can see the card images. So what you wanna do is go here, link in the description, get download it, save it. And you open the containing folder if you have Firefox or just find where you saved it. Now I'm just gonna extract these. That's gonna take a while. So well, not that long, but I'm gonna go to the computer, so this is where you're gonna put the images. C drive. Now program files. Now you go to you go virtual dueling and images. And you'll see all these card images that I already put on there. So after this is done loading, I'll go to this folder. I'll just stop it now. And you'll just highlight all of these like this. And then you'll copy and paste it onto this folder. And then you can just delete all the ones here because you don't need them anymore because they're already on here. And make sure it's in you go virtual dueling images and see all the folders there. So open up YVD. Then you'll see when you click on a card, you'll see the images. Now, some new cards like Blizzard, Far North, I think Crossroads of Chaos, and Up, you won't be able to see the images because they haven't been uploaded yet. I made my own for board to spear, but it kind of sucks when you look at it really closely. So yeah. Now the second part of this tutorial is going to be the basic controls of IVD, but which is really easy to understand. But for those of you who just want to watch it, here you go. If you don't want to watch it, just comment, rate, subscribe. So it's a deck, like click on a card you add it or add to your side deck and you can search cards by name so judgment dragon your judgment dragon or you can just look up light sworn you'll see all these light sworn cards pop up so after you're done with your deck you save it then you can load other decks you go click dual and start off with five cards draw a card on your turn and you double click cards here to put them on the field now I will draw two and remove something so you right click here and then you can remove it from play in graveyard well, that'd be funny if that actually happened uh, anyway so as they put in graveyard right click you can go to gameplay up here and do all this other stuff here show hand show card at random from hand discard card at random from hand you can just memorize all these shortcuts if you want to So that's basically how you do it. Click on your graveyard, look at your graveyard, request permission at the opponent's graveyard if you click on theirs. And yeah, that's that's it probably. Just right click and you can do other stuff like this. Oh yeah, I should tell you over here on the chat little thing, you put sub one hundred oops no how'd it go it's, yeah you put a slash it would sub 100 to subtract light points or you can go add 100 to add light points so if that's how you do that and that's basically the control so thanks everyone comment rate and subscribe